following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 63. You get the Nasdaq up 28. S&Ps are up 8. We have the gold contract down $9.30, trading at 13.15. You have the silver market uh, down 29 cents, $17.40. Platinum is off five at 964. We get light sweet crude flat, $49.82 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note, down five ticks, 126.05. 30 year bond off 12 ticks, 154.21. And King Dollar, King Dollar uh, off 33 ticks, 91.830. The euro is 119 to the US dollar. The yen is trading out here at 111 to the US dollar. Uh, Tommy's off today. He happened to go to New Orleans. He saw the Patriots. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow. So, market-wise out here, folks, what we have is this. If we go take a look at the S&Ps, uh, we, we take a look at the futures first. What do you have with the futures? You're at 2505. Yes. You're at the 2505 level. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you, you had a high out here on Friday of the 2500. We'll see uh, how this thing shakes out. That's on the future market, in the cash market, and that's where the, well, the, it'd be the same setup. Uh, you're already at the 2508 level. So the further that you actually get away from the 2490 level, which are 18 points away, the higher the chances go that this is going to take a leg up. Uh, Dow Industrials. What do we have in the, inside the Dow Industrials? This is another all-time high out here today. You're at 22,333. Uh, now, inside the Dow, the strength versus the weakness out here this morning. Putting strength into the Dow, you have Boeing putting 15 positive points, Caterpillar 14, Goldman 9, JP Morgan 6, taken away from it, very anemic. Uh, you have uh, United Health taking three points away, Travels Insurance 3, 3M1. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? Uh, NDX 100 is trading up 20 bucks right now. You're at 6,008. And this has been having a hard time getting up and over its highs. So it's going to be intriguing. We're going after them once again right now. You got over them this morning. We went to 6,012. The number to keep your eye on here is 6,009.607. If we look at the NDX 100, so the composite and the NDX 100 just couldn't handle higher price on Friday. Inside the NDX 100, um, the number there is that 6,009607. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, th let's go to the composite. There we go. Inside the composite, what we have is that the number on the composite out here is the uh, 6460. Uh, we hit a 6477. Uh, thus far, we'll see whether it's going to do that launch uh, up into those higher numbers. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here today, you get net tees up 7.4%. Uh, that's, that's a trip. Let's look at that. Holy cow. That's up 20 bucks. So this is uh, Internet Technology uh, Company develops uh, application servers, Internet Technologies in China. And, oh, I see. Okay, so you get a, you're down from 337. It's a heck of a bounce out here. So what's happening with this thing? Um, Okay, NetEase's gains as uh, mobile Minecraft downloads top charts in China. I see. They must have a, a game out there, I guess. So, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Uh, NVIDIA, oh, NVIDIA, that, NVIDIA did take off on Friday also, uh, putting some strength uh, into the NDX 100, uh, yet it couldn't get to highs, which is kind of in, interesting. Uh, NVIDIA this morning is up 3.3%, off $5.94. C-Trip is up 3%. You have LAM Research up 2.4%. Taken away from it, the NDX 100, you have Seagate Technology off 3%. Cerner is down 1.8. Mattel is down 1.7. And Hasbro is down 1.3. It looks like uh, coming up to this Christmas season, what we're going to be looking at is uh, the aspect of uh, how uh, is Mattel and Hasbro going to perform. Uh, things, uh, 
going quick in that business, that's for sure. Not, but they've had many of these challenges in the past, too, because technology has been taking over the toy business for quite a while. The real question is, <coughs> do they um, get some of the, you know, whether it's the um, action figures, whether it's the, the doll figures, whether it's board games in order to basically combat most of the digital uh, games that are out here now. We're going to take a look at the highest volume stocks out here inside the market. You have Advanced Micro right now up 49 cents. Bank of America is up 36. Uh, Marbell is up 24. You got the Chesapeake Energy is up 10. The uh, Cisco Systems is up 9 cents. Let's go into uh, the natural gas. I heard Larry, uh, we were talking about the natural gas market. Natural gas right now is up uh, 10 cents. And you get some volume behind this move. So this is going to the top of the consolidation that it's been in. The top of this consolidation is uh, 320. You're at 318 right now. Um, we'll see whether it's going to have the volume behind the moves. Thus far, we've done 34,000 contracts. If you get uh, over the 61,000 contracts, uh, that's going to be that's going to be a good move, and it very well could do that. And the aspect of how many contracts it's already done thus far. We go take a look at the oil market. Oil market. <coughs> excuse me, folks. Oil is trading at fifty dollars uh, and thirty-six cents. We have two hundred forty-seven thousand contracts traded. Uh, this is going to be intriguing now. The oil market. This is why. Fifty dollars and sixty-two cents. Asia swing high from the first of August. Uh, we had nice strength last Thursday. Friday, we didn't. We just went sideways. Today, we have not hit the high yet. Uh, I would love to see it actually hit the $50.88. Uh, it hit $50.85. Uh, the reason being is that that is a high volume high, and that is saying that the oil contract wants to go higher. That being said, the way this is trading out here today, it's having a hard time getting to that. Uh, so I'd like to see it get to that so you'd get the answer of the test. Can it make it? Can it not make it? All of the above. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, a great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can uh, bring up the platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can walk along with us uh, as we trade these defined option contracts. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract. You can expect the volatility, excuse me, folks, the volatility to continue inside the gold contract. Uh, we got down to 13.13 13 today. Um, what that was all about, <coughs> oh, excuse me, folks. Um, what that was all about is that on last Thursday, we had a high volume swing low at 13.19. It went after it. Um, we've done 157,000 contracts. That looks like we're going to do about 330. What that sets up, folks, that sets up a test of the breakout area. Uh, inside gold, which is about approximately the 1302, um, 1307 area. I do expect we're going to get down there. What has happened with all the uh, equities, if we take a look at that, well, actually, let's go to the GDX. If you take a look at the GDX, what you have with the GDX is that uh, GDX came down at light volume, gap lower today. GDX is trading 23.87. That looks like I want to uh, test 23.56. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Dow Industrials are up 62. NASDAQ's up 25. SPs are up 7.5. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 55. Nasdaq's up 22. S&Ps are up 7. And uh, we just had, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is always uh, interesting watching uh, what does happen uh, when you keep going to a higher price. So uh, all in, American consumers see record 65% probability that stocks are going to continue rising. Uh, you had the Michigan survey, um, the University of Michigan survey come out this morning of the sentiment, folks. And this is the highest. Um, bullish percentage since 2002, so going back 15 years. American consumers are pretty bullish on U.S. stock market. Respondents in the latest University of Michigan survey of consumer sentiment said there was a 65 percent chance that $1,000 invested in the stock fund today will have appreciated in a year's time. That's the highest probability and records dating back to 2002, and it did coincide with the uh, S&P uh, surpassing the 2500 mark. And it, it, what's intriguing here is that it's not that the 2500 mark is a, a magic number. You know, I, I said in my own update that that's where the bulls and bears are going to be fighting about. What it has to do with, well, it has to do with no doubt 2500, what it also has to do with um, is that as you are going up into highs, and you know, if we bring this back six months, you're going to see we're at 23, 22. Um, when you hit a number that a good even number, 2,500. Bottom line, it makes sense that there's going to be a fight. Um, what has also happened, though, and this is where my head's at more than the number itself, is that this was trying to break out. We were at, on the 27th of July, we're at 2,484, right up until last week. So it's been trying to break out from that area. Bottom line, it made it. Now the question is, can it hold it? You know, because that's where the, the bulls and bears will take a stand. That's what it comes down to, you know. Uh, the, the, the bears are going to say, okay, we want to go. We want to go south. The bulls are going to say, hey, we've been making a fortune every single dip. We're buying. Um, that's how that's shaken out. What is intriguing here is this, is that Bloomberg did a study last week, and this is what has changed in the marketplace, is that most of the time what has happened is that the, uh, the way the market has continually gone higher is that you buy the dip, right? That's, that's what everyone understands. Uh, what has happened 
uh, in the last, uh, I believe it was six weeks, is that they're not buying the dip, meaning the worst stocks out there. What they're doing is that they're buying the stocks that have already broken out. As they pull back, that's what they're buying. So it, it, that, that texture has changed inside the marketplace, and we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, that is going to make a difference. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Excuse me, folks. As you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see right on the front page, folks, September 30th, good old Boston, Massachusetts. We're going to be up in Boston. Uh, Nadex is sponsoring a live workshop. It's going to be a great workshop. It's going to be at the Burlington Mar Boston Marriott, which is in Burlington, Mass. Uh, this workshop is free. Uh, it starts at 7.45 in the morning. 7.45 to 8.30, we're going to do a continental breakfast. Uh, Dan Cook is going to do some welcome remarks from 8.30 to 8.45. Uh, Tommy is going to uh, go over the, uh, the binaries as well as the spreads. I'm going to be up there from 9 to 10.30. We're going to be talking quality volume, cause and effect, the structures, the ABC structures, the swing points, and the testing. You do get a uh, copy of the Out of Time in the Trade, a uh, signed copy, uh, and... Uh, then we're going to take a quick break, coffee break, 15 minutes. Daryl Martin's going to come up for an additional 90 minutes. And then we're going to have closing remarks uh, with questions and answers from 12, 15 to 1 o'clock. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Um, going to be a great day. Uh, and there's no doubt that uh, Boston in, in September, is, it, it's the weather-wise, it's amazing. Actually, in Florida right now, weather-wise, is pretty amazing. Let's go and take a look at the, uh, let's go see where Amazon is going. So Amazon, the, you're at 986, and what has happened, this is pretty wild. If you take a look, see if I can get the story for you, because what had happened is that when Amazon actually brought down the prices uh, at Whole Foods, uh, their sales, Whole Foods sales have gone up 25%. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see if that can continue uh, going forward. And if it does, let me tell you something. It's going to be, uh, that's going to be pretty in intense. No two ways about that. That, that is a big, big number. Uh, 10-year note. Let's go take a look at the 10-year note. So right now what we have, let me, let me look at this. So the Fed fund futures rates, September 20th, which we, uh, okay, so this is amazing. It's, we're at the 18th, so Wednesday, yeah. So your probability of a rate hike Wednesday is 2.1%. That's almost nil. Uh, it has, uh, in November, first would be the next Fed meeting. That's 2.9%. Now, what has happened since last week is that the first time we were over 50% was all the way out until it was March. Then it got kicked up to June. Now what has happened is that now you're at 50% December 13th, 50.6%. Uh, so we'll see how this is going to shake out. If we do take a look at the 10-year right now. The 10-year is trading 2.2. And if we take a look at the, la the last three months, that's right in the middle of the gauge from the last three months. 2% uh, is the low, 2.3 is the high. If we take a look at the last six months, what you have, you have 2.03 uh, is the low, 2.4 is the high. If we take a look at the last year, what you have is that uh, 1.5 is the low and 2.6 is the high. Yeah, one of the Tigers are talking about um, the uh, Ken Burns uh, documentary on Vietnam. And I fell asleep, folks, but watch this thing because it is educational beyond belief. Uh, because what, it, what, it, what I saw at the beginning of it anyway, it brings you all the way back when the French were in Vietnam. Um, I can't wait to watch the whole thing, actually, but you talk about educational, talk about it goes all the way back, I believe, before Eisenhower, and then it shows how we got involved, it shows how the, um, whether it's Ho Chi Minh, whether it's the communists, whether it's the Viet Minh, um, I got to see a couple hours of it. Uh, I just can't wait until seeing the whole thing, because uh, that thing had been going on for so long before we even got involved, but yet uh, it showed that uh, we were getting sucked into that thing 20 years before, uh, you know, money-wise, basically keeping the French alive until uh, they wiped out the French, too. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the yen out here. So we have what the yen is this. 
Um, Yen is trading at 111.39. That took out the swing going back from the 16th of August. Uh, this little baby uh, looks like it's going to you know, get up to this uh, 112.42 area. And uh, what that does, of course, is that that's going to put pressure on the metals market. Uh, silver out now is trading at uh, $17.39. Let's go over and take a look at the silver market. So silver right now, we're, okay, so silver's down 1.7%. You're down 31 cents. And silver looks like it's going to run into $17.18. We're at $17.39. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials are up 63. NASDAQ's up 22. S&P's are up 6.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from EverBank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, <clears throat> excuse me, Dow Industrials up 68. You get the Nasdaq up 25. S&Ps are up 7.5. And, and percentage-wise, it's split pretty evenly going uh, right across the indices, folks. You get the Dow up 3 tenths of a percent. S&P 2 tenths. Uh, Nasdaq uh, almost 4 tenths. If we go overseas and we take a look at uh, overseas, last night you had uh, the Hang Seng up 1.2 percent. The Nikkei was up uh, 3 tenths of 1 percent. Uh, 5 tenths of 1 percent, rather, half percent. 
Uh, Taiwan was up four tenths. Uh, in Europe today, uh, what you have is that you have the FTSE up uh, four tenths. The CAT in France is up two tenths. You get the DAX uh, up three tenths. Let's go over and take a look at the DAX just for a second. So the DAX is trading 12,563. And this came off the bottom a couple weeks ago. So the, the DAX has gone from a price point of 11,860. And you're coming right into the, the big downdraft from the 29th of uh, June. So uh, we'll see uh, if it can make it through that area. That's where, the, excuse me, folks, the DAX had uh, come down like, uh, wow, it's pretty amazing, actually. 12,000, yeah, the DAX had come down almost 350 points in one day. Um, we got to take a look at the uh, volume characteristics out here. What you, what you did see is, and this was all over all the markets, folks, last Friday, you had uh, quad witching, and it, this is something really intriguing to look at, you know, because what happens, of course, in uh, the other markets, meaning in Germany, right? You don't have quad witching happening, but we talk about we're in a one world market. What, what you're going to see is that, well, guess what? We had monster volume inside the DAX on Friday, and the reason would be is that there's plenty of ETF structures that you have German stocks that are in, you have options on these, and you have options on the indices, and what ends up happening, in order to basically get to delta neutral, you're going to you can see the volume expansion was tremendous. We did 197 million inside the DAX when normally you're doing 85 and 87 million. Let me go to the FTSE and see the same thing. This is get, this is really intriguing because you don't you, you see this, but you don't see it as dramatic as it happens right here. Yeah, we did the same thing in the FTSE also. FTSE came in with uh, 1.4 billion. Now, this is where you're going to have some di divergence, and what it is is this. So the FTSE goes to lower price, has big volume, right? RS&P, and this is why these tests had to, had to be done out here today, RS&P had volume come in the NYSE. So the way that I do the volume characteristic inside the Dow and the S&P is that you take the volume from the Dow, you're looking at the cash S&P, we did 2.1 billion shares. So it was realistic that you would get at least these highs tested out here inside the S&P today, inside the Dow. That being said, we go over to the NASDAQ, the NDX 100. What you have with the NDX 100, that also had got up to uh, 609,445. You had an expansion of volume, so what you're looking for is you're looking for the test of it, and that's exactly what we did get this morning. We did 2.8 billion inside the uh, NASDAQ composite. So this is going to be a big day in the, in the aspect of you have the tests being made in the NDX 100 and <coughs> the NASDAQ composite. The composite has broken topside. Uh, the NDX 100 just hasn't done it yet. Uh, we're 15 bucks above in the composite. Now, you can give that up in a second, but bottom line, we are above it. If we take a look at the IBB, uh, IBB still laying at its highs out here. It's up 2 bucks. You're at 333.86. Uh, if we go take a look at the euro, euro correlation, uh, euro right now also laying at its highs, which is pretty intriguing, uh, the 119.57 area. And, uh, you know, this has been quite a run by the euro. The euro traded from 105 uh, up to this 119, and uh, we'll see whether it's going to, you know, trade back to this 116 area, because if the dollar is going to get a bounce, uh, the dollar index, um, you would expect. Well, we would get the, if the dollar's going to bounce, the dollar index is going to bounce. 60% of it is the, is the euro, so you'd have to see the euro getting pulled back. Let's go over and take a look at the copper market. So copper, HGZ7, what copper had done, copper had taken huge run topside. We went from a price point four months ago of 250 a pound. We get up to a price point of 317. You, you back down and you're backing down uh, right what would be a normal retracement, you know. Uh, we broke topside uh, from 275. Right now, you're 296. Now, I, I do expect we're going to get down there. That's a long way from where we are right now, too. Uh, but that's a, normal, that's a normal retracement thus far in a market that does want, looks the, wants to go at a higher price. 
and the 283 is a 50% retracement. 275 actually is a 0.618. Um, so if we, if we do get down to uh, 0.618, that'd be saying that the next time up, you wouldn't be uh, going through uh, the highs out here of, of 317. If you uh, happen to be uh, in and you're looking for um, an investment in the CD market, folks, um, if you're, you're a CD investor out there, check out uh, on the front page of our website at TFNN. You're going to see the EverBank banner. Uh, this is, uh, you know, when we talk currencies, this one's really intriguing. So this one here uh, is they have these market safe CDs. This is a three year CD. Uh, what's intriguing about this one is the aspect of the type of acceleration that you can actually get and the leverage in here that you can get. It's $1,500 to open. Uh, one of the unique things about these market safe CDs is that your principal is 100% protected. So the bottom line is that you put, well, it doesn't matter, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 up, you're not gonna lose it. What you would lose is the opportunity cost uh, if you put that in something else and something else went up uh, further. Now, this one here, what's intriguing about this one, this is a, uh, let me do the currency breakdown. So what this is, is that you are, you are putting, the CD has five different currencies, okay? And these currencies, uh, they get put together in a basket. And the currencies that we're talking about, you get the Turkish Lira, um, you have the uh, British Riel, you have the Indonesian Rupee, you have the Indian Rupee, and you have the, let's see what's the last one. The last one is the, uh, oh, that's right, the yuan, the, the, the offshore Chinese yuan. So the intriguing part about this one is that when you take a look at the currency breakdown, and then we take, let me pull this back and we go to the CT term sheet, what you're going to see is that you can actually get uh, seven times uh, the actual um, upside. There's a seven leverage factor on the upside. Um, so bottom line, at the end of the three years, uh, if, in fact, uh, those currencies are worth more than the U.S. dollar, you get the upside. If they're not and you, they're worth less, guess what? You get your money back. That's, that's pretty cool. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number, 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 66. NASDAQ's up 24. S&Ps are up 7. We're going to be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th.
September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits and the Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 68. Nasdaq's up 21. S&Ps are up 7. If you go over to uh, Equifax, folks. Uh, so Equifax right now uh, trading $92.76. Uh, this is down from the price point of 143 on the 7th of September. And it looks like, uh, bottom line, uh, the Department of Justice is going after them uh, as a criminal probe. Uh, so this is going to get really interesting. Uh, and I was bringing this up last week that I suspect these guys are going to get hung out to dry in a huge way because the banks never got hung out to dry. Um, and what has happened is that uh, people, no doubt, uh, when you go back 2007, 2008, no one basically, you know, got in the can. They're going to put these guys in the can. So. Uh, the U.S. Justice Department has opened a criminal investigation into whether top officials at Equifax violated insider trading laws when they sold stock before the company disclosed it had been hacked, according to people familiar with the investigation. Prosecutors are looking at the stock sales of Equifax Chief Financial Officer John Gamble, President of Information Solutions, Joseph uh, Longard, uh, President of Workforce Solutions, um, Randolfo uh, Plautier. Uh, bottom line is that they, because <laughs> this was so blatant, folks, it was unbelievable. Uh, Equifax had disclosed earlier this month that it had discovered a security breach on July 29th. The three executives sold shares worth $1.8 in early August. Bottom line, um, I suspect they're going to get uh, toasted uh, and roasted here. That's, that's how this thing uh, is shaken out. And... Um, <laughs> they, then they should. That, that's the other side of it. Uh, pretty incredible, though, uh, when, you, when you look at the aspect of um, how they thought you ever get away with it. That, that's the thing that is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, if we, if we look at the ownership uh, out here inside Equifax, let's see, the largest owners. Who's taking the biggest hit? Well, Janice... That would be Janus Funds. That's, that would be taking quite a hit. Uh, it's two fund companies. T. Rowe Price, uh, BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity. That, they're small numbers compared to... Actually, June 30th. One second. No, this is... Yeah. No, they, they all took some big hits. Because um, all of these folks that I just told you about, they were all buying also. They were, they were adding to their positions as of the last disclosure on June 30th. Uh, yeah, big numbers. Big numbers out there. And so uh, we'll see where the, that whole thing shakes out, but it looks like uh, they're going to fall. They're going to they're take that fall. Let's go take a look at the 
Uh, Google, let's, go to, let's take a look at some of these fang stocks. So Google right now, that's down a buck sixty, tra trading at nine eighteen an ounce. If we could take a look at an ounce, uh, a share. Facebook still at its highs. We're at one seventy one uh, on Facebook. We take a look at the Microsoft. Microsoft's new all-time high, $76. That's launching, yes, yeah, $76.61. It's launching. Uh, NVDA, NVIDIA is the darling, folks. Uh, NVIDIA, when this thing goes, the last time that it went like this, okay? So NVIDIA on May 9th was $102. It gapped higher to $121 the following day and then never looked back to $168. So in two weeks, let's see. 5, 10, 15, no, just about one month. In one month, it went from 102 to 168. It's going to be intriguing here to see what happens because two days ago, we were at 167. You're at 187 right now. And um, it's not that you don't have a huge shot interest either. There's only 3.2% uh, shot interest uh, in NVIDIA. So it's certainly not a shot squeeze that's happening in NVIDIA right now. The bottom line is that uh, they uh, are in a business that um, folks basically are buying quite a bit of. And if you want to see just the type of growth, uh, it, it's absolutely phenomenal. They are, their graphic processes, uh, for, so for the year, folks, they did uh, 6.9 billion. 5.8 of that is a graphic processing. That is growing by 18.8%. Now, if that's not enough, one of the smallest um, sectors, it's called Tegra Processing. That's growing by 27%. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, but the bottom line is that you talk about some growth. It's pretty amazing. Uh, they're growing in Asia by 20%, three-year growth rate. United States is only seven. Europe is 30 uh, other Americans are 15.2. Bottom line, huge numbers, huge numbers. Uh, when you take a look at the, what they bring to the bottom line, uh, 2013, they brought $1.17 to the bottom line, 2017, $3.06. So they, and what they have done is that they've brought along the other chip makers with them. Uh, LRCX, let's go take a look at LAM Research. Uh, LAM Research trading up $3.52 at $176. I think this is at an all-time high also. There it is. This, uh, this equity went from uh, $63 uh, in 2016 to 176 We take a look at those numbers, and let's see what they're into. So they've gone, yeah, same deal, man, pretty amazing. They're just semiconductors, and they're growing a three-year growth rate of 20.26%. 24% in Asia. Uh, North America is flat. Europe is 3.9. So Asia is the number. The, th the thing that's amazing, uh, we all are using much more computing power. You have all the cloud servers that are going up. Uh, they are basically um, <laughs> pushing uh, big numbers on a continual basis. And the more that we uh, use all these uh, big server farms, I suspect, um, and the more they're going to sell. I mean, because there's not a large amount of companies out there uh, that are selling. Let's go to the SMHs uh, and, and take a look at where they're laying out. So SMHs right now are up a buck. You're at $92.12. That also launched the uh, downdraft from the, the 9th of June. That 9th of June was a big number, too. So that's still going to be the benchmark. But uh, what we did do is that on Friday, you, you pushed higher. You had some volume behind the move, 4.6 million. 91, 22, right now you're at 92, 15, I think, Intel, and let me just see this. Yeah, Intel and Taiwan Semi are the big ones here. Taiwan Semi is 12.6%, Intel's 10.7, NVIDIA is 6, ASML is 5, Broadcom's 5%, Qualcomm's 5%, Tech Instruments 4.9. Uh, bottom line, that, that chip technology um, is continuing higher. Gold contracts down 12 bucks right now. Let's go see if we get any volume on this move as it's trying to test the lows of today, actually. Um, okay, so it just broke the lows of today. You're at 13.13. You know, if you're, if you're a gold bull, folks, okay, you want to actually see this go back to the breakout area. That's how, that's how I want to see this thing shake out. 
Uh, the reason being is that there's, there's big numbers at this breakout area. I mean, you're talking like 460,000 contracts. And uh, I don't think we'll do the 337 today. If we don't do the 337, you don't have an ABC down. You came down hard last week. I'd like to see it basically push, push, push. And I suspect it's going to run out of its energy when it gets to that breakout area. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. You have the Dow Industrials right now, up 71, new time, all-time high. S&P's up 7. We'll be right back. <coughs> Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge here daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks, and uh, there's no doubt the phone wars are on again, folks. So Sprint just announced uh, this morning. Uh, so AT&T had opened uh, the phone wars up a bit. Uh, bottom line, this is all about the uh, Apple uh, new 8 plus the uh, 10. Uh, so Sprint uh, lowered the bar on the Apple phones this morning. They're offering a free phone with the trade-in challenging its large appears to follow suit starting Monday. Today, new and existing Sprint customers can get an iPhone 8 if they trade in an iPhone 7 or a Galaxy uh, S8 or a Samsung Note 8. <coughs> People with older phones and recent models uh, from Samsung, Motorola, Google, and LG can also qualify for half-off prices on the i8, according to the Sprint statement. Uh, bottom line, uh, uh, Ma Bell, uh, AT&T promotion started last Friday. Um, uh, that uh, they apply that to uh, their their deal was uh, buy one get one free, um, you know. Um, 
we're going to see uh, some heavy, heavy uh, discounting with these new phones, folks, because what the phone companies have figured out uh, is that they get, they got to put the piece of hardware on, into your account. Uh, the amount of customers that they are getting off these are huge, and the hardest part for these customers, I mean, these big phone companies, of course, is just keeping the customer. And each and every time that uh, a new phone comes out, guess what? Uh, people, people swap. People swap, and two years comes up pretty quick because a lot of us have two-year plans. Uh, and if you have, uh, whether you own the phone or don't own the phone, uh, at the end of the two years, normally you can, you can upgrade for very inexpensive money compared to what the actual phone uh, cost. Dow Industrials right now up 72. That's trading 22,340. Nasdaq's up 20, 64, 69. S&P's are up six and a half. You stay right there, folks. A lot of great programming coming up at TFNM. We got, we're going to Think of Swim headquarters, TD Ameritrade in Chicago. And I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be